Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new Honest Reaction video and today we're gonna be checking out If by Taeyeon. It seems like this is one of her most popular OSTs for, seems like it's a K-Rom, might be a movie. Uh, so I can see original soundtrack and KBS right there. I really hope that this video is not going to get blocked because, because the song was used in a, a KBS uh, exclusive show k-drama whatever really really hope that it stays up on youtube because otherwise there's no point in me saying this because it's not you're not going to see it so yeah anyways let's begin with it now but before we jump in guys of course make sure you check out my patreon where you can see all of my exclusive reaction videos including Taeyeon live stage reactions as well as other groups like exo nct uh Taemin, snsd shiny espa and others then dance shows like street woman fighter curry in movie reactions and K dramas like My Mister, Hotel de Luna, It's Okay, It's Not Be Okay, Scarlet Heart, ET1 Class, Squid Game, The Producers, Goblin, and many others. So, all of that is on my Patreon. The link is down below. And let's begin. Let's begin. Uh, Manyokke, uh, the Korean title is. Okay. Let's begin. Very calm so far. Manyake Nega Kandamu Nega Taga Kandamu Nan Otto Ke Singa Kalga. Wow, yeah, it sounds pretty magical because there's quite a lot of reverb. If you pay attention, her voice kind of reverberates and a little bit of echo as well. Uh, so yeah, it's K-drama-ish. It definitely sounds like a soundtrack to a K-drama. So, uh, the only place where I heard the song once, once before, is Taeyong on, what is it, Dingo Killing Voice, that was. And she sang the chorus of this one. And I, like, if someone told me, hey, do you, do you know, or asked me, do you know what if sounds like? No, I wouldn't be able to tell. But here again, or hearing the chorus for the second time, you know, hearing it again, I kind of remember how it went and how I felt the first time, uh, but don't worry, like it, it's it's still the first time listening experience. It's pretty, it doesn't count as a spoiler even. So I gotta say, here the melodies are just so 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 beautiful. Uh, I still feel like I gotta used to I gotta get used to the instrumental because it's pretty loud, right? And the piano. Let me hear. The piano, especially on the high frequencies, it's pretty punchy. You know, it really cuts through the mix. So at places, maybe I'd like it to be a little more uh, just mellowed out, like not as prominent, so I can hear more of her voice. Uh, but yeah, even with that, you know, the chorus sounds very, very beautiful. 
Let's continue. Let's continue. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Such angelic quality here at the end of the phrase on ba. Right. And how she's changing the quality going from lighter to something more intense. You see, you see, here you can feel it too. The instrumental is loud. Kind of feels like it's a little louder than her voice even. I like that, I like that, I don't know what it is. I don't think it's a violin. That, that in the background, the really high frequency sound. Oh, yeah, did you hear that the guitar? The guitar on the strum, you can hear this metallic sound. So I think that's also what I'm talking about. The high frequencies of this instrumental are very prominent. So you can hear them really, really well. They feel pretty punchy. And at places, it feels like they kind of cover her voice a little bit, you know? Beautiful ending, yeah, a very typical K-drama OST instrumental and ending here. Right, now let's get to the lyrics and see what this one is about. Okay. Uh, Hong... Hong Gildong. Hong Gildong. OST. Uh-huh. I don't know if it's a historical K-drama. The guy had uh, sunglasses on, if, if you noticed, <laughs> in the in the album art, or that song art, whatever. Dona 
The melody perfectly reflects the sadness of the lyrics. So how does it go? Verse chorus, verse chorus, very long verses, very long choruses. And then final chorus again, no bridge. Verse chorus, verse chorus, chorus. So even though it's an OST for a K-drama, the lyrics could be relatable for anyone. Right, so this was If by Taeyeon. Let's see, so my favorite part here was definitely the melody that she was singing, that's for sure. Her voice and that melody, very beautiful. I think it, it kept the essence of a K-drama OST feeling mm, but at the same time it didn't like to me it didn't feel too too in like too negative in any way too cute or like too magical too theatrical too whatever you want to call it like it definitely sounds a little different from you know something that we would find on an album it sounds like an ost but still, I find the melodies really, really pleasant here. Really love them. Uh, the thing that I didn't like as much is the instrumental, as I've said already, and maybe not necessarily the instrumental itself, but just how it was mixed with the voice. Uh, I think it's also coming from me wanting to hear something like an album song, you know, like a B-side. But here it's supposed to be a K-drama OST, so I think more emphasis is put on the instrumental. I don't know if it's always the case, but I, you know, I just, that that's that's my guess. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to like mm, justify their decision. So uh, on the second listen though, I could kind of get more used to it and I wasn't paying that much attention to the instrumental overpowering her voice. I was really, I think, reading the lyrics and I would read the translation, you know, the English line, and then I'd go back and read the, you know, the the Hangul or the English spelling of Korean words. So I really focused on what she was singing and therefore uh, her voice kind of stood out to me more. Mm, so overall, definitely a pleasant experience. I think I might be coming back to this one. Uh, still, if we're talking title track, uh, I mean, sorry, OSTs, soundtracks, I think, what is it called? All About You is my favorite one by her. Yeah, from Hotel Del Luna. There, I feel like they struck a really nice balance of having still a pretty intense instrumental, but allowing us to hear more of her voice. 
Uh, so yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video. As always, take care, keep listening to great music, and love.